Hello students, welcome to a new video of Dr. Shorov's classes. As you know that we are solving the ACET paper of June 2022 so from the Institute of Actuaries of India and we are solving the statistics portion. So up to the previous video we have solved the question number 36. So here in this video we will finish with the statistics portion starting with the question number 37. So it is given that the number of trucks arriving on any one day at a truck depot in a certain city follows a Poisson distribution with mean lambda is greater than 0. Suppose it is known that the probability as x equal to 5 is equal to the twice of the probability at x equal to 4. So we have the probability, you have to find the probability that on a, on a given day at most one truck will arrive at this depot. What is the probability of that? So this is uh, uh, this is pretty straightforward. That is, uh, we have the probability at x equal to five is equal to two, or probability of x equal to four. So we can find the mean from it, and we have been given that is a Poisson distribution. So it is e to the power minus lambda. This is going to be lambda to the power five by five factorial is equal to twice of e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power 4 by 4 factorial now if we simplify this we can find the value of mean that is the lambda is, which is equal to 10 now we have to, but to find the probability that on a given day at most one truck okay so at most one truck means the probability for x less than equal to 2 we have this probability at x equal to 0 plus probability at x equal to 1 right so from here we can just simplify this this is equal to e to the power so we have the probability of x equal to 0 and it x equal to uh, 1 that is the lambda is taking if common so e to the power minus 10 there is a minus lambda there is a minus 10 and it is going to be 1 plus 10 so that is 11 e to the power minus 10 okay so this is our option this is the probability it will be 11 e to the power minus 10 so now check with the option so we have the correct option is 37 a so for question number 37 a is the correct option so let's uh, let's move to the next question the question number 38 the so question number 38 is, let x be a random variable with pdf the probability distribution function is given as f of x f of x is lambda e to the power minus lambda of x minus theta where x is greater than theta and lambda is greater than zero then which of the following statements is true so if we have we have been given the pdf the fx is equal to lambda e to the power minus lambda x minus theta okay so here is x is greater than theta and lambda is greater than zero right so what is the mean of this random variable ex so it will be integral it will be zero to theta okay 0 to infinity sorry okay. infinity lambda x e to the power minus of lambda x minus theta dx so we can simplify this 0 to lambda okay 0 to infinity lambda we take it outside so it can be written as y plus theta e to the power lambda minus, minus lambda y dy okay which can be further simplified into y plus theta x we have replaced x is y plus theta so that is it is going to be 0 to infinity lambda y e to the power minus lambda y dy plus theta of integral 0 to infinity lambda e to the power minus lambda y dy now if you solve this it will be 1 by lambda plus theta 
okay this is going to be 1 by lambda plus theta similarly if we find we have to find the variance so next we have to find with the mean of the x square so this is going to be integral 0 to it is going to be integral theta to infinity theta is equal to this x is greater than theta lambda is greater than 0 so theta to infinity similarly for it also we will have the integral of theta ok so from here we will find the lambda x square e to the power minus lambda x minus theta dx ok now if we simplify this again we can write this as 0 to infinity lambda of y plus theta whole square from here we can change the limit e to the power minus lambda y dy ok now if we simplify this then what it will come so here we have the 0 to infinity lambda y square it will be here e to the power minus lambda y dy plus it is 2 of theta right again 0 to infinity y lambda y obviously e to the power minus lambda y dy right plus we have this theta square then from here we can write integral 0 to infinity lambda e to the power minus lambda y dy now if you simplify this it will come out as 2 by lambda square plus 2 theta by lambda plus theta square ok this is our e of x square now we have to find the variance so from here you can simply find the variance of x so it is going to be the mean of x square minus mean of whole x square x to the power square now i put the values simply this is 2 by lambda square plus 2 theta by lambda plus theta square this is going to be minus of theta plus 1 by lambda square right now if you simplify this this is uh, going to be cancelled many terms and the only term left with it is 1 by lambda square ok 2 by lambda square minus 1 by lambda square so this is 1 by lambda square so that is the final answer so the correct option for this question number 38 is option C 1 by lambda plus theta the mean and the variance is 1 by lambda square so that is option numbers option C ok now uh, let's move to the next question that is question number 39 so question number 39 consider two random variables x and y with joint probability density function given by the f of x y is k x y 1 minus y for the x and y both in the range 0 to 1 for some value of k so the correlation coefficient between x and y you have to find this so this is integral 0 to 1 0 to 1 f of x comma y dx dy is equal to 1 right so from here you can simplify it further that is given over here so we can write it as integral 0 to 1 then integral 0 to y k of x y 1 minus y dx dy ok now if you simplify this this is k integral 0 to 1 y of 1 minus y integral 0 to y this is x dx dy ok so this is equal to so from here we can simplify it so it is going to be 
k by 2 integral 0 to 0 to 1 y cube minus y to the power 4 dy which is going to be k by 40 ok so this is equal to 1 so from here you can simplify what will be the value of k so k is equal to 40 ok now what is the mean of xy so we can write this as e of xx uh, the xy is given so so it, it can be written as integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 x y f of x comma y dx dy ok so we can write this as integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to y 40 k is given x square this is going to be y square minus y cube dy ok y square minus y cube by dy now if we simplify this 0 to 1 40 by 3 y to the power 5 minus y to the power 4 dy so here it is 40 by 3 1 by 6 by minus of 1 by 7 so that is going to be 20 by 63 ok so that is for the mean of x y now what is the mean of x and mean of y you have to find it separately so first of all you have to find the mean of x so here it is integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 we have so x of only f of x y dx dy right so from here you can write it simply integral 0 to 1 0 to y 40 x square y minus y square dx dy ok so here it is going to be 0 to 1 40 by 3 if you simplify this it is going to be y to the power 4 minus y to the power 5 dy now if you simplify this it is 40 by 3 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 which is going to be 4 by 9 that is the expectation for the mean of x and let us find the mean of y e of y it is going to be integral 0 to 1 ok integral 0 to 1 y of f of x y dx dy right now if we simplify so 0 to 1 it will be here then we have the 0 to y then 40 x it is y square minus y cube dy dx ok so here it is just cancel out to 0 to 1 20 of y to the power 4 minus y to the power 5 dy so here it will be 20 of 1 by 5 by 1 minus 6 1 by 6 so that is 2 third so what is the we have to find the correlation coefficient we have to check whether this positive or negative ok so the cov of xy is going to be ok so this is the expected the mean of xy minus mean of x into mean of y so it is going to be 20 by 63 minus of if we multiply this 8 by 27 right 3 and 9 8 okay. so if we simplify this it is going to be 4 by 189 which is greater than 0 so the correlation 
is positive right correlation is positive now check with the option we have already find what is the correlation coefficient so it is positive so the correct option is 39 a okay so that's uh, we will just moving to the last uh, question of the statistics part question number four so you're saying that let x be a random variable with the probability mass function pmf of p of the probability of x is equal to plus minus 1 is equal to small p and probability of x equal to 0 is 1 minus 2p so where p is in the range 0 to half and let y is equal to x square then the correlation between x and y is we have to find this so the correlation coefficient between the x and x square actually y equal to x square so the correlation coefficient between x and x square right so what is the correlation so how can you write it so this is the correlation of x comma x square so that is the cov of x comma x square divided by square root of variance of x and variance of x square right so from here we have to find the covariance of x comma x square what is it it will be the mean of x square minus the mean of x and multiplied by x square right yeah so from we have to find the mean that is the ex it is going to be minus 1 into p plus 0 into that is minus 1 p at minus 1 uh, it is 0 at 0 p of 0 it is 1 minus 2 p and plus 1 into p which is equal to 0 and what is the variance of this x square uh, the mean of x square the e of x square it is going to be minus 1 that is it is uh, we have the okay the covariance of it is given as so we have to find so this is going to be e of x cube okay we have x cube minus of e x e square so we have to find the first of all the mean of x cube okay. so it is mean of x cube it is going to be minus 1 cube into p plus simply 0 into 1 minus 2 p plus 1 cube into p which is equal to c so now similarly you can write the covariance over here the value right so it is it is 0 minus 0 into e of x square we, have, we this didn't find this e of x square again so this is 0 it is going to be 0 so what is the correlation between this x and y so the correlation this x and y or x comma x square this is going to be c so the correct option for our question 40 is d that is the z okay so with this we are uh, finished with this uh, part of the statistics portion so in the next uh, in video uh, we, we are solving this total acd this june 2022 paper so in the next video from the next video we will start with the data interpretation part okay so if you have not checked it yet the previous videos you can just go to the top uh, question number one that the first the mathematics portion we have solved and next we have solved the statistics portion so say in the next video with the data interpretation portion thank you